A lot of people don't like C++ when compared to its parent, C. C++ is misunderstood. Or is it? Should you even learn C++? C with classes, later renamed to C++, was invented by Jarnay Stroutsup in 1979. The more general aim was to design a language in which I could write programs that were both efficient and elegant. Many languages force you to choose between the two alternatives. Since the initial release of the language, C++ has grown substantially while adhering to three core principles. There should be no language beneath C++, except assembly, you only pay for what you use, and high-level abstractions come at near zero cost. The most noticeable difference between C and C++ to the beginner is the inclusion of objects. Structs in C are just memory organized in a particular order. Objects in C++ have methods, constructors and deconstructors, public and private attributes, just to name a few. All these principles seem pretty fair. Despite the simple philosophy though, many high-profile programmers, Linus Torvald being one of them, have expressed frustrations with the language. C++ can't solve the problem of the C language at all. It will only make things worse. This really is a bad language. So why all the hate? Well, as the language's inventor has said, C makes it easy to shoot yourself in the foot. C++ makes it harder, but when you do, it blows your whole leg off. Why is that? With great power comes great responsibility. While C++ does offer more features than C does out of the box, this comes with a much more complicated syntax that is more difficult to decipher. Error messages like cannot dereference non-pointer type in C turn into messy hellscapes like this one here in C++. Also, while offering high-level abstractions, C++ offers features that are considered too featureful by some. Some features make a code base difficult to properly structure or read, looking at you, templates. And it's not that templates themselves are too hard or too complicated, but that features like templates give you a tool to very easily create very bad code. Finally, C++ is sometimes contradictory of itself. The language itself is a subset of C and allows for the use of raw pointers like charstar, for example. But many will find that the C++ community disagrees with these concepts on a purely philosophical level, despite it being part of the C language. So, should you learn C++ or use it on your next project? Yes, 100% yes. C++ is a good language in this developer's opinion, but there are a few caveats. If you are a beginner programmer, do not learn it as your first language. In my opinion, start with C, learn the fundamentals of memory management and program structure as low as you can go, and then simplify your code with upgrades from the abstractions that C++ provides. Two. Don't use C++ features just because they're there or just because they're pretty. Syntactic sugar will only get you in trouble as your code base grows without proper design. And three, make sure you're also spending time learning a type safe language like Rust, for example, winter is coming. Let me know your thoughts on C++ in the comments below, and then go watch this video to get started on learning memory management and assembly or this one for Rust.